cell cycle and cell division. Cell division is the process by which cells reproduce themselves. It consists of nuclear division, mitosis or meiosis, and cytoplasmic division, that is cytokinesis. Cell division that replaces cells or add new ones is called somatic cell division and involves mitosis and cytokinesis. Cell division that results in the production of gametes, that is sperm and ova, is called reproductive cell division and consists of meiosis and cytokinesis. The cell cycle. In order to understand cell cycle, we need to understand somatic cell division. So the cell cycle is an orderly sequence of events in which the somatic cell duplicates its contents and in two daughter cells. It consists of interphase and a mitotic phase. Human somatic cells contain 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes and are thus diploid, that is two small n, depicted by diploid. The events of the somatic cell cycle can be as follows, which can be seen on the slide. First is interphase. It is the period between cell divisions, that is two mitotic phases. The chromosomes are not visible under light microscope. Interphase is a state of high metabolic activity. The cell grows in size. And finally, the interphase consists of three phases, that is G1, S, and G2 phase. The G1 phase, which is normally of 8 to 10 hours, it is metabolically active cell phase in which the cell duplicates the organelles and cytosolic components. The events that lead to replication of chromosomes occur in this phase. Cells that remain in G1 phase for a very long time and possibly never divide again are said to be in the G0 or G0 state or G0 phase. Next is the S phase. It is about 8 hours phase. DNA replication occurs each chromosome duplicates to form its identical chromatids. G2 phase, the cell growth, enzyme, and protein synthesis continues in this phase. The replication of centrosomes is completed. The events lead to mitotic phase, and the mitosis occurs after G2 phase. So finally, after G2 phase, the mitosis starts. And finally, after that, again, the cell cycle repeats. The mitotic phase. The parent cell produces identical cells with identical chromosomes and the chromosomes are visible under light microscope. Finally, mitosis. So uh, mitosis or we say the nuclear division Mitosis is the distribution of two sets of chromosomes into two separate nuclei. Now, the biologists divide the process into four stages, that is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Hence, we observe that also additionally, mitosis uh, is one of the very important processes also. Now we see the first phase, that is the interphase phase. For understanding purposes, this phase has been included. Else, we have the main phases which are included in mitosis include prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. Interphase. In interphase, the cell prepares for division. DNA is replicated, organelle is replicated, and cells increase in size. Now, prophase. The, in prophase, the chromatin fibers condense into paired chromatids. The nuclear envelope and nucleolus disappear at the end of prophase. Each centrosome moves to an opposite pole of the cell. Spindle apparatus is formed between two centrosomes. Metaphase. 
centromeres holding chromatid pairs of each chromosomes attached to the spindle fibers from either of the poles at the centromeres all the centromeres move to the line up at the exact center of the mitotic spindle called the metaphase plate anaphase the chromosome the centromeres split and se are separated paired and are separated the separated paired chromatids of each chromosome move towards opposite pole of the cell along with the shortening of the spindle fibers attached to them so pulling of the chromosomes by microtubules spindle fibers give various shapes to the chromosomes according to the position of their centromere telophase nuclear envelope and nucleoli reappear in each daughter nucleus chromosomes resume chromatin form due to decondensation mitotic spindle disappears in telophase last we include cytokinesis or the cytoplasmic division it usually begins in the late anaphase and ends once mitosis is complete a cleavage for of forms at the cell's metaphase plate and progresses inwards pinching in through the cell to form two separate portions of cytoplasm this slide shows all the phases of mitosis we are able to see interphase prophase metaphase anaphase telophase and again interphase next is meiosis reproductive cell division so in sexual reproduction each new organism is the result of the union of two different gametes that is sperm and ovum one from each parent gametes contain a single set of chromosomes that is 23 in number and thus are haploid meiosis is the process that produces haploid gametes from the diploid reproductive cells in the gonads that is spermatocytes and oocytes spermatocytes and oocytes are the final products which are formed meiosis so unlike mitosis meiosis occurs in two successive stages after the duplication of chromosomes during s phase of the interphase that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in short meiosis is the type of cell division by which germ cells eggs and sperms are produced one parent cell produces four daughter cells daughter cells have half the number of chromosomes found in the original parent in meiosis during meiosis dna replicates once but nucleus divides twice meiosis has four stages to be described for each division we have first meiosis 1 that is the first stage of meiosis first division of meiosis that is prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 so in prophase 1 we see each chromosome duplicates and remains closely associated these are called sister chromatids in metaphase 1 chromosomes align at the center of the cell anaphase 1 chromosomes pairs separate with sister chromatids and remain together in telophase 1 two daughter cells are formed with each daughter containing only one chromosome of the chromosome pair prophase 1 in this extended phase chromosomes shorten and thicken at earlier stage chromosomes duplicate appear as single thin threads also called leptotiny stage due to closely associated sister chromatids the homologous chromosomes pair off that is we say the zygotiny stage and event called synapses occurs the resulting four chromatids forms a structure called a tetrad which is also called pecatinny stage non sister genetically different chromatids of paired homologous chromosomes may exchange segments with one another an event 
called crossing over, which results in genetically unlike four chromatids called genetic recombination. Now shortening chromosomes start repelling each other in each bivalent, but remain held together due to cross-like chiasmata as a consequence of crossing over events, that is diplodemi stage. In we observe in this the late prophase or the, in the middle prophase stage, the in the late prophase one, if we say dikinesis, which is also called dikinesis, the nuclear envelope and nucleoli disappear. The short and thick bivalents attached to the spindle fibers formed between the separate centrioles, separated centrioles from each of the two poles. Next, metaphase one. The tetrads or bivalents line up along the metaphase plate, equatorial plate of the cell with homologous chromosomes side by side. In anaphase one, members of each homologous pair of chromosomes are pulled apart by the microtubules, spindle fibers attached to these centromeres. Each chromosome still has paired chromatids attached to the centromere. Last, telophase one, nuclear envelope reappears, but chromosomes usually remain condensed. Cytokinesis. Cytokinesis of meiosis is similar to cytokinosis of mitosis and each resulting cell contains the haploid number of chromosomes. The cells are genetically unlike each other and unlike the starting diploid parent cell that produced them. Next, meiosis, the second stage of meiosis, that is meiosis 2. In this we have prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2. In prophase 2, DNA does not replicate. In metaphase 2, chromosomes line up at the center of the cell. In anaphase 2, centromeres divide and sister chromatids move separately to each pole. In telophase 2, cell division is complete. So four haploid daughter cells are formed at the end of this division. Prophase, in prophase 2, if we overall say uh, what happens in meiosis 2, uh, meiosis 2 basically has these all the phases and these phases are almost similar to those that occur during mitosis. The chromosomes attached to the spindle fibers after the degeneration of nuclear envelope at the late prophase 2 stage. The chromosomes move to the equator while, while centromeres line up at the metaphase plate. The centromeres split and the sister chromatids separate and move to the opposite poles of the cell that is which is observed in the metaphase 2. Metaphase 2 also the canatopores of the paired chromatids line up across the equator of each cell. In anaphase 2 we see also the chromatids of the, cro the chromatids of the chromosomes finally separate becoming chromosomes in their own right and are pulled to the opposite poles. The nuclear envelope and the nucleoli reappear and the chromosomes undergo the condensation that is telophase 2 we are observing over here in this slide. The lastly we see the cytokinesis in both the dividing cells result in the formation of four haploid cells that are genetically different from one another as well as from the original, original diploid starting cell. The haploid cells get converted into gametes, that is sperm and ovum. This is the overall process of meiosis. Differences in mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis is asexual, whereas meiosis is sexual. Cell divides once in mitosis, whereas cell divides twice in meiosis. Two daughter cells are formed. Four, in case of meiosis, four haploid daughter cells are formed. Gen genetic information is identical. Whereas in meiosis, genetic information is different. Thank you.